Hi, and welcome to Perusal. Many of you may be wondering, what exactly is Perusal? In a nutshell, Perusal is a way to discuss articles, videos, web pages, podcasts, and other materials with your classmates using technology. Perusal is considered a social e-reader and is similar to reviewing content and leaving comments on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, or even your traditional course discussion board. You will be assigned a particular document or other type of material to review, and then you will be asked to make comments, leave questions, and reply to other students' comments and questions directly on the item itself. To get started on an assignment, click the green button labeled Work on Assignment. The first time it will open up for you a tour, so please pay attention to that and take the time to go through it. I'm not going to do it with you in this video because it will be provided to you already. To get started, you should always completely read the assignment or watch the assigned video or listen to the assigned podcast, etc. Part of your grade is based on actually reading the assignment or reviewing the assigned materials, not just scrolling through them as I'm doing here. As you are reviewing the assigned materials, you may see yellow or blue highlights already. Those highlights represent comments that have already been left by others. Yellow highlights indicate comments or questions by you or other students. Blue highlights, as seen here, indicate comments from your instructor. There are a couple of ways to view those comments. You can click on the conversations icon on the right side of the page and then click on the particular item. Or you can just click on the highlight itself to see the current conversation that's happening. I recommend going through all of these buttons on the right hand side just to take a look at them initially. So in effect, you're going to click on a classmate or instructor's posting and you're going to reply and leave a comment down at the bottom or you're going to start your own conversation. So here is a conversation started by the instructor. You go ahead and leave a comment or question here. And hit return or enter to post the reply. For each assignment, you should post at least one of your own original thoughts, meaning you're the lead person in starting the conversation, and then reply to two other students, just as you would in a traditional discussion board for a minimum of three annotations a week. The requirement may depend though on your professor, so please pay careful attention to the requirements specific to your class. To start a conversation, highlight some text, something that you find interesting or engaging that you would like to uh, begin a conversation on, and you'll see the panel open to the right where you can type your comment. Your classmates will see it appear in real time, and your goals in annotating each reading assignment are to stimulate discussion by posting good questions or comments and to help others by answering questions. You can leave emojis, you can post pictures, links to videos and other types of items as well. You can even post a poll if you would like. You're not required to incorporate those, but if you would like to, they are available to you. If you'd like to comment, or I'm sorry, if you like a comment that someone else has made, go ahead and um, check, click on the check mark. That's similar to liking their posting and is called upvoting in perusal. And you can actually earn points for receiving comments and upvotes and for leaving check marks and comments. You can also star a conversation or discussion item, and then you can return to it at a later time. It's kind of like you're flagging the item for yourself for a later date. You can come in and out of perusal as often as you'd like before you do date. And that leads me to how you are actually graded. So as you see highlighted here in pink um, or blue, uh, your perusal grade is based on six different metrics of engagement that is combined into a single score. So you aren't just evaluated on the comments that you make. You are evaluated on your annotation quality, which would be your comments, opening the assignment component, reading the assignment, active time spent reviewing the content, getting responses and upvoting. So real quickly, I'm gonna review those individual components so you understand what they are. 
So the annotation quality, each comment or question in perusal is going to be automatically scored by the system and it's rated as one of three things, below expectations, meets expectations, or exceeds. So if you're making multiple posts and the requirement is only three annotations, only your top three scoring annotations will count to your grade. So you may post 10 items, but your top three of those 10 are the items that you would be graded on. Now, rather than making a high quantity or multiple posts, it's recommended to focus on delivering three substantive high quality comments and questions, just like you would in a traditional discussion board, not on making lots of little insignificant posts. As a general guideline, try to ensure that each post has at least four sentences and contains at least one key point that demonstrates critical thinking skills through examples and ideas that may include personal or professional experiences. Effective annotations deeply engage points in the readings or stimulate discussion or offer informative questions or comments and help others by addressing your questions or confusions. The assignment opening component um, is encouraging you to chunk your work into multiple sections. So rather than do all of your reading and commenting in one section, the idea is that you're coming in and out several times throughout the week and you will actually earn more credit if you um, spread out the workload over the week rather than doing it in just one session. The reading and a component is to encourage you to actually read to the entire through the entire assignment. If you don't read the entire assignment, you will receive a prorated percentage of that reading target based on what you do actually review and read. The active reading time component is to encourage you to devote time to reading and you can then earn credit for each minute you spend actively reading. Not necessarily just having perusal open, but when you're actually reviewing items in the browser. Also, a much smaller component, but to encourage you to post those thoughtful questions and comments that generate good discussions, you will earn credit for the replies that you and others post on your comments. And then to encourage you to upvote each other's questions and comments, meaning clicking on that check mark, um, you will earn credit when you uh, upvote others' annotations and when you write good questions or comments that are upvoted by others. Now you may be wondering, how do you see your score? So after you make your three annotations, you can actually review your score by clicking on the My Scores button. Remember, your scoring is based on the quality and timeliness of your comments, questions, and responses and may include those other engagement components. So it is strongly recommended after you make those three uh, annotations to go and check your score. If you haven't yet earned the grade that you'd like, you may need to go back and make more higher quality posts. You may need to um, come back in a couple of days and finish your reading and do some other items, but you do have the opportunity until the due date to go back and try to continually improve on that score. So hopefully that gets you started and good luck. I hope you enjoy using Perusal.